So time is running out for local high school students to apply for a chance to earn an internship next summer and get paid while they do it. It is available through the Annie Ruth Foundation, which is right here in Jacksonville. Dee Wilcox created the foundation and is joined by four recent internship graduates. Congratulations to you and good morning. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. So Dee, let me start with you first. Would you explain the internship program and, and who qualifies to participate? Absolutely. So the Annie Ruth Foundation Summer Internship Program is a one-year points-based program, whereas at the end of the year, the students are placed in a safe professional environment yeah. that directly aligns with their career aspiration. So it doesn't matter what it is they think they want to do or mm -hmm. become. If they do well in the program, our guarantee to them is a safe professional environment mm -hmm. that provides them hands-on experience, a mentor, and a paycheck. Now, in terms of who qualifies, the program is designed for high school juniors and okay. seniors. Um, we used to say local here in Jacksonville and surrounding counties, but now that we attend the business seminars virtually, um, our reach extends even outside of Duval County. Fantastic, and I know that the kids have until, uh, the teenagers, I don't mean to, yes, that they have until September 15th then to apply. I wanna ask you more about that, but first, let me just bring in uh, the, the kids as well. So, so Jade. Hi. Hi there. I'm, I don't. I don't mean to step in front of you, Dee, but I want to reach over because we don't have enough mics for all of the kids, right? So, Jay, tell me what you, what are your aspirations? I know you're going off to Brown next week. Congratulations yes, to you. you. What did you learn from this internship that really helped you kind of focus in on what you'd like to do when you grow up, so to speak? Yes. Yeah, so I aspire to be an astrophysicist. So I worked at the Museum of Science and History, um, especially the planetarium. And it was very insightful. Um, I learned a lot about visitor engagement, about research, and especially with children, just seeing their faces shine um, as they're learning about Earth, Moon, and Sun and other outer space lessons. It's really um, inspiring for me. So um, not only I want to be an astrophysicist, but help teach children so that they're more um, inspired about science and just, you know, learning in general. It's really fun. And girls too. Yes. I love that, yes. right? Okay, so Dia, tell me a little bit about your internship. Okay, yeah. So I interned at Baker Gilmore Cardiology and Lyerly New Neurosurgery at Baptist, and I aspire to be a psychiatrist. So it was fun to see the different aspects of the medical field, like with neurosurgery, in the operating room and the clinic and a lot of heart stuff at cardiology. But my favorite part of it has to be connecting with the patients and just talking to them because that's what I aspire to do. I love when they saw your smiling face that they probably, you walked in and said, oh, this is so great to see a young, a, some, a young person that is so inspired by what she wants to do. All right, so Aiden, tell me more about your internship. So I internship, I interned at Haskell, which is an engineering firm. I aspire to become a computer engineer, and what I think what I learned most there is some soft skills, which can't be learned in school. There's a lot of things about the work environment that I didn't really realize were there until I actually got my hands um, uh, dirty, so to speak, <laughs> and then um, do actual engineering things, like use different software to model buildings, and it, it's just really great to get real world experience and to get paid which is nice yeah. also right so lovey did you find that your experience at your internship has really helped you decide that this is definitely what you want to do when you grow up um yes um all of my uh, mentors helped me really realize that the things i want to do is very possible mm. and the experience was very comfortable it provided me a, a learning environment for myself and i was really thankful for them to give me that experience, yeah. especially making it easy for me to sit in those appointments. I aspire to be a medical professional and just really listen in to the techniques that they use and how they talk to the patients. And where did you intern? Um, I entered at three rotations. Yeah. So one at a private practice called um, Pirate, oh, You're doing great. <laughs> Pareto Clinic. And another one, my second one, it was at Ascension St. Vincent's Medical Group. And my last one was at um, Duval County Department of Health. Florida what Department. a great experience. And didn't they do wonderfully with the interviews here? We're putting them on TV and making them uncomfortable. Thank you. <laughs> Dee, before we go, I do want, would you please explain to our viewers who have bright, you know, teenagers as well, how they can apply for this, for this internship? Absolutely. Please visit our website, which is www.sowingseeds, that's S-O-W-I-N-G-S-E-E-D-S, 
dot today. You can also call me directly 904-200-7202. As you mentioned, the deadline is September 15th, so there's plenty of time. And we are so super excited to be able to work with these youth and put them in places so that they can get that hands-on experience so that at the end of the program and the internship experience, they'll be better positioned to make a more informed decision mm -hmm. as to whether or not this is what I really want to do or yes, if I need to explore my different. plan B. Yes. And that's before they go off to college and waste yes. a lot of time and their parents' money only to change <laughs> their mind. To yeah. change their mind. It, you bring up such a good point. And keep in mind also with the application process, don't wait till the last minute. You do need to write, I think it's a thousand word essay, so keep that in mind. Thank you for being here and congratulations to all of you. Good luck in the future. Thank you for having us. <laughs>